Hi, y'all. Um, today is Monday, October 14th, 2019. It is the first day of Sukkot. Um, it is Tishri 15. And it's also Columbus Day on the American calendar. So happy Columbus Day to everyone. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a recording. i um, been doing most of it on East Penn Valley Christian Center Facebook page. Um, so um, anyway, I actually... Th- for those of you who do not know, I had no intentions of being doing ministry online at all or doing any kind of teaching online. Hence the name of my, my YouTube channel, which I, I have still yet to change. Um, I used to have another YouTube channel that I, I never uploaded, but I don't even know what happened to that. I just used to like things and wanted to save things that I liked. So that kind of disappeared. Now I have this one, um, and I never intended on doing uploads myself so that's why um my name says k me <laughs> so i'm still uh, i'm still not sure what i want to change my name to and i'm sure that will come in time but um anyway um how i got started and and this is how i do my recording because i don't have anything fancy in fact um how this all actually started was in prayer god was giving me a lot of information and i couldn't write it as fast as as it was coming in so i grabbed an old cassette player yes i am dating myself here um and i started like putting everything you know verbally on cassette because i needed to put that information somewhere and i just couldn't i couldn't keep up with how fast it was coming you know it was being downloaded to me so but then I wanted to, you know, he, the intention was to share it with y'all. So the thing is, I don't have a studio. I don't, I don't have up-to-date equipment at all. Yes, I just recorded it on a cassette player. And then I, I had to find a file. So then I went from there to an MP3 file um, from the cassette player. That's why, you, you, you know, you hear the, the clicking. It is from the cassette player. And I apologize for that. But, um, but then I... Facebook wouldn't accept MP3 files, so then I had to find a program that actually uploaded it to YouTube. Yeah, it's the long way around, but it's the best way that I know how. And I can't, um, I have a very old computer, and I'm going to find out when I go to replace the computer, is it the computer or is it just um, my service out where I live? And it possibly is the service out where I live that I won't be able to do the live stuff um, because my, my cell phone service is really bad out where I live. Um, and it's not elsewhere, so it just may be where I where I'm at that I have to I have to make do with what I've got. So bear with me on that. It is actually a three step process that I did it to actually get these um, get these little videos to you. Um, so thank you for your patience on that. And I do have a teaching that I, I, I actually am going to do in the future. It's it's about Phariseeism. So that's that's coming in the future. Now, as Pastor Jay had mentioned on his live recording, um, that yes, my family does have Jewish heritage. Did we know it? No. (laughs) Um, Unfortunately, we are probably, well, no doubt, we are the scattered Jews that actually didn't even know our heritage until um, more recently. Um, And it's it's kind of sad when you think about it because you know our, my my family actually immigrated from Germany um, in the late 1600s, early 1700s, um, and always thought and we settled in an area that is Pennsylvania, predominantly Pennsylvania German, thinking that that was our heritage. Well, not at all, not at all. Um, I actually, when I when I was younger, I, I, I was probably about 18, 19, I did a family coat of arms on my father's side, and actually it showed that we were Jewish on, on my father's side, and a lot of our relatives um, are in Israel. I don't know them, um, but it showed, it showed that on, on the family coat of arms. And I, I'm not surprised because I've always had you know, a love for Israel and the Jewish people and always had a pull for that. The other part happened was I was doing Ancestry.com and just going back to my grandparents' names, um, there was, uh, in parentheses, it said Ashkenazi. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Um, All four of my grandparents' names, um, you know, their last names um, say Ashkenazi. So you get to getting kind of curious about, you know, so, you know, so if we were, 
Ashkenazi, we were the European Jews. Why didn't anybody let us know that? Um, it's kind of really sad when you think about that because there's just so much that was lost for us. Um, and how many others, you know, that are scattered that that has happened with. So part of me was like, what was wrong with my ancestors? Why couldn't they let us know? Um, you know, like pass it on to some member of the family who would let us know, this is your true heritage, um, and don't lose it. But that didn't happen. Um, and I'm sure that has been the, been, been the case with many people. Uh, what happened is I did my own DNA testing, and yes, I am Jewish, and yes, um, uh, the surprising piece is, is there's not a drop of DNA that says I'm German at all. Um, even though my family immigrated from Germany, like I said, in the late 1600s, early 1700s. The interesting part that showed <laughs> was actually I have more, um, actually I have British DNA and a little bit of French DNA, which was really surprising. Not so much the British. I mean, I, I think somewhere in your spirit you always have a, an affinity for, for, for what is truth, and I'm a truth seeker, and I always had a pull towards England, and always a pull towards towards um, Israel and the Jewish people, so it's like, okay, so here it is, you know, and um, definitely showed Ashkenazi Jew. The thing they don't do is, is the more extensive Jewish, um, Jewish DNA with this particular DNA testing that I did. They only do the Ashkenazi. Um, I have a feeling that my ancestors are, are a mixture um, because my DNA was traced to Iberia, not Siberia, but Iberia, which is uh, Spanish, which could be actually Sephardic too. Um, and then I also traced up through Asia Minor, through um, um, East Asia, actually. And um, I don't have any Asian DNA at all, and I'm no Turkish DNA, no Greek DNA. So what does that leave you with? So it just kind of makes you wonder. There's a couple pieces that are are not um, pieces of the, of the puzzle that are not in place. But um, and then I went to looking and doing some research, and all the areas that my DNA um, were traced through, all the areas that the Jews were being persecuted. I'm like, oh my lord! You know, now I can forgive my ancestors for not letting us know who we were because they were probably running for their life every place they were going. So, uh, so with going with DNA and and putting historical facts together and the historical time frames, I can kind of get an idea of what my ancestors were actually going through. The one question that came up in my mind too is in doing my own research was um, what are what what is the one thing that um, a family heritage that you would hang on to and pass on from generation to generation. And that is comfort foods. And interestingly enough, in, in my family's recipes, we have things that are uh, such as uh, Jewish coffee cake, Jewish apple cake. So, um, And I can remember when I was a kid, my mom used to make a lot of Jewish coffee cakes. So when I found this out, I went to her and I said, you know, is this where did that recipe come from? And she said, it's always been in our family recipes. So it's like, okay, <laughs> um, hint, hint, <laughs> they did leave us something. And some oh. of the other foods um, that are were passed down in, in the family were also very Jewish. Um, so it's very, it's very interesting, and it just, I guess, never clicked. Um, but then again, like I said, our family thought we were German, and we're not. So go figure. We're German and the fact that our, our ancestors lived in Germany and that was the last place that they were before they immigrated to the United States.